Most of us cross bridges every day, but we rarely think what lies under it. Today we're going to be taking a look at the creepiest discoveries people found under bridges. Number one features possibly the strangest creature that you've ever seen, so make sure you stay tuned for that. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? The Fremont Troll Before they inhabited the internet, trolls are mythological beings that originated from Norse and Scandinavian mythology. In Old Norse sources, they dwell in isolated rocks, mountains, or even caves and live together in small family units. When they started hanging out under bridges, I don't know. What I do know is that they are mischievous beings that are considered harmful to humans, just like their internet counterparts. If you'd like to find one, just make a trip to the George Washington Memorial Bridge in Seattle, where one particularly huge troll lives. I say live, but rather built there. Commissioned by the local government who were trying to prevent drug addicts and junkies from using the underneath of the bridge as their personal party pad. In 1990, the Fremont Arts Council launched an art competition whose partial goal was to rehabilitate the area under the bridge. And the eventual winner was a sculpture called The Troll, which was sculpted by four local artists. Those artists are Steve Bedanes, Will Martin, Donna Walter, and Ross Whitehead. This massive sculpture is 18 feet high and weighs more than 13,000 pounds, and is also made of steel rebar, wire, and concrete. Not really that shocking, especially to those who are aware of its existence, but to someone who isn't aware and just decided to take a stroll under the George Washington Memorial Bridge out of the blue one evening, seeing this monstrosity would definitely be enough to make that person's heart skip a beat or two. A 121-year-old time capsule Construction workers from Morgan Sindel Construction Company were just doing their thing, replacing the Ruthven Road Bridge in the United Kingdom and having a grand old time of it when they discovered something 50% odd, 50% creepy, and maybe 100% historical, depending on who you ask. Buried deep inside part of the bridge was an extremely old time capsule. That is, if you can call it a time capsule. It might have just been a couple of bits of tab put in a box by someone and then burying it under the bridge is a bit of a joke. You see, time capsules usually contain a lot of items, often bearing some sort of historical significance. But this box contained none of the sort. Only an empty whiskey bottle and a folded up newspaper that dated the entire thing as going back to 1894. What is undoubtedly extraordinary though is the fact that the box was put there during a time when only horses and carriages were the only ones using the bridge. That also tells us how old the bridge is, thus the repairs. Somebody obviously thought that the finds hold some significance, so it was donated to the Highland Folk Museum. The Ghosts of Sensaba Tunnel From things that were definitely found under bridges, we now go to some things that are probably there, maybe. Well, if you're asking me believer in the paranormal, they're definitely there, making this place probably one of the most haunted places in the US. This place is called the Sensaba Tunnel, which is located in the back roads of Kingsport, Tennessee. It is named after a man whose life events are said to be the cause of the haunting. As the story goes, which I have to clarify is unconfirmed, a man named Ed Sensaba went crazy one night and decided to brutally murder his family and then himself inside the tunnel. Another story tells of a homeless man who allegedly drowned a baby in a nearby pool, which is now named Crybaby Pool. And there is yet another story of a woman whose car broke down inside the tunnel and was murdered by an unknown person when she exited the car to find help. Whatever the origin of the supernatural activity is, there are many people who attest to the strange happenings in the tunnel. Rumors of the tunnel's haunting started in the 1960s but continue up to today. The tales of its haunting, like any haunted place, vary depending on who's telling them. Legend has it that if you turn off your car's ignition while inside the tunnel, a series of ghostly happenings will occur. People have reported hearing a baby crying, seeing a man in the rearview mirror, seeing a figure sitting in the back seat, and finding a child's handprints on their car after leaving the tunnel. Today, Sensaba Tunnel is a common place for young thrill seekers to drive through, halting their engine to find out if any of the legends are true. A Nuclear Fallout Shelter In 2006, a group of inspectors from the New York City Department of Transportation were on their usual rounds of bridge and tunnel inspections. The rounds were usual, except for one discovery that is both strange and kind of creepy. Somewhere deep in the Manhattan anchorage of the Brooklyn Bridge, they stumbled into what seemed to be a Cold War-era bunker or fallout shelter. It was a hidden room filled with blankets, water, a shock prevention drug called Dextrin, and 350,000 crackers. Based on the dates stamped on the various supplies, which were 1957 and 1962, this hidden room under the bridge seemed to be from the Cold War era. 
The inventory of the bunker's cache followed a typical shopping list for emergency preparedness during the arms race of the 1950s and 60s. Barrels of potable water, first aid supplies and blankets, boxes of high-calorie survival crackers, and a healthy supply of the drug dextrin, which is used to prevent and treat shock as stated before. The supplies were marked as coming from the Office of Civil Defense, the Cold War precursor to what eventually became FEMA. Since the DOT had no idea the stash was there, or why it would be there, explanations are really only guesses. And as with all the rooms and tunnels inside the anchorages of the bridge, the public isn't allowed inside. So the question of where exactly in the Manhattan side anchorage they found the room, the DOT is keeping that under wraps for security reasons. Native American Remains You know how most archaeological artifacts are found? Usually they are found accidentally when someone digs up a foundation for a building or some other type of structure before it is built. Then what usually happens is that construction is put on hold, until a team of archaeologists scour the construction site for other artifacts. This is all before construction can resume. In this case, it's the other way around. Texas Department of Transportation engineers were doing routine maintenance on an undisclosed bridge when they saw bones sticking out of the ground. They immediately thought human bones possibly related to a long cold case, so they called the police. As it turns out, the bones were actually what remains of an ancient Native American burial. Texas State University's Anthropology Center in San Marcos quickly took over the dig. The department's director, Daniel Westcott, says the Frio County remains appear to be that of a man who was buried at the location after his death. He said he was found resting on his back, partially on his left side and knees up, a common burial position at the time. An arrowhead was found next to the skeleton as well. They are estimating the bones to be around a thousand years old. Possibly fearing a litany of curses related to disturbing Native American burial grounds, officials quickly got in contact with Native American tribes with possible connections to the area. They will wait for the tribe's go-ahead before exhuming the body completely. A 101-year-old hobo graffiti Under a century-old bridge near the Los Angeles River, Phillips discovered what appeared to be grease pencil markings, a practically extinct type of American hieroglyphics called hobo graffiti. Hobo graffiti was a code that let travelers tell each other where they were headed and what conditions were like at this location. The pieces that Phillips found include stylized arrows, little hard things that pointed the direction a person was headed. She found messages from men with names like Oakland Red and Tucson Kid, dated back to August 13, 1914 and July 1, 1921. They were discovered by author and anthropologist Susan Phillips, who was doing research on her book, which was, funnily enough, not related to hobos in any way, shape, or form. She found them scribbled on the bridge crossing the Los Angeles River. The most notable graffiti is a signature A Number 1. A Number 1, or Leon Ray Livingston, was one of the most famous hobos of his time. He wrote 12 books on hobo life, for instance. Maybe he left his mark here, or maybe someone else was just using his traveling name, which did happen from time to time. Hobo graffiti etched into stone or drawn with grease pencil has mostly disappeared by now. The graffiti here was preserved after the Los Angeles River was lowered 25 feet, making the bridge more inaccessible both to people and the elements. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is something you definitely want to find under a bridge, especially if you live near that bridge. A crocodile. In this clip, you'll see a group of people crowding on a bridge, clearly interested in something happening below. Could it be someone is drowning and they are attempting a daring rescue? Well, I can tell you now, no, it's not as dramatic as that. Could they have found a real-life troll finally confirming the existence of these mythical creatures? Again, no. The creature under this bridge is quite real, and when it bites you, the pain will be quite real as well. What's actually happening is that a few men are trying to catch a crocodile that was hanging out under the bridge. If the video is anything to go by, I'd say the croc is quite large. Obviously, these guys don't want a croc as large as this hanging out near their homes and bite someone, so I understand the urgency of them wanting it to be out of there. One thing, though, you'd think they could have used thicker rope. Honestly, that rope looks like someone cut up a thin blanket into strips and tied it together. Also, Jamaica has quite a lot of crocs, so I bet there would be some sort of animal control agency that should be able to do this job safely and infinitely more quickly, so why didn't they call them? Many ways, I'm not sure whether these guys succeeded or the croc just swam away. In any case, don't try wrangling a croc by yourself, please.
Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The East River Monster If this dead, bloated carcass of an unknown creature looks familiar to you, you might have already seen photos of the Montauk Monster, which was incidentally also a dead, bloated carcass of an unknown creature. The only difference between the two was that they were found in different locations. The one that you're looking at was found under the Brooklyn Bridge. Denise Ginley was the one who found the strange creature lying on a strip of sand beside the East River, hence its name. It seems that the creature was washed on shore by the tide. The picture snapped by Ginley shows something that looks very much like an unusual animal, with a hairless body and beak and claw. It really looked like the Montauk Monster, which was also found washed up somewhere in New York, making people think that there are more of these strange creatures out there. Or it could just be a drowned dog that became so bloated all the hairs fell off, which is what I think. It's honestly a more plausible explanation. Unfortunately, further investigation of the animal will be impossible as city sanitation employees quickly dispose of the body. Have you seen anything strange under a bridge? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about strange things? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.